everyone, my name is Celeste and in this video I'm going to be sharing our fifth grade curriculum choices for the 2020-2021 school year. In the last couple days I also shared our curriculum choices for our seventh graders. So if you're interested in seeing that video, I'll be sure to link it in the description box below. Also in the next couple days we'll also be sharing our choices for our youngest son, our third grader. So if you'd like to see that video, you can keep an eye out for that. But in this video, we'll be sharing our curriculum choices for fifth grade for the upcoming school year. Okay, for math, um, we are going to be using Horizons Math. Um, Horizons has a book one and a book two. So we will be doing Horizons Math 5. Um, it's kind of a look inside. And then book two as well. So he's been using Horizons. Um, he will continue with book five of Horizons for math. For language, we are going to be using um, a Becca. So... We'll be using God's Gift of Language B, a writing and grammar um, work text. So he'll be working through this um, book throughout the year. It has grammar, like I said, and it has um, some writing. I don't feel like it has as much writing as I would like in there. So I'm going to be actually adding in spectrum writing as well for him. So spectrum writing grade five, just to reinforce some of the writing different writing um, techniques and strategies. So we'll be going through this. We'll be doing this probably a couple times a week just to supplement with Abeka's um, God's Gift of Language B. Um, for spelling, we will also be using Abeka. So this is just a very basic spelling and vocabulary list every week. At the end of the week, he'll take a test and we'll kind of go throughout, throughout the year. We'll go and, and do that. For reading comprehension, we will be doing these read and comprehension sheets. Um, Abeka has these all the way up to grade six. So basically what they do is they read through a passage and then they answer the questions on the back. And this is a timed weekly test that they take. Um, and I feel this is a great skill to develop. So we always use these up to sixth grade. So he will be using the fifth grade level for that. Um, so for handwriting, um, fifth grade usually is the last year that we do a formal handwriting curriculum. Um, again, that will depend on the child and we're definitely flexible for that or whatever the need may be. But um, up to this point, that's kind of what we have done. So he'll be going through the final two books in the Handwriting Without Tears series. This is an amazing company. We've used them for handwriting both for print um, or in, and also for cursive. So he'll be doing the Can Do Print book just to solidify um, his printing um, skills. And he will also be working on Can Do Cursive, which is also the last book they have in their cursive series. So by the end of this year, he will be wrapping up his official formal handwriting curriculum with this. Okay, for Bible, for all three boys, we are going to be doing the Children's Bible Reading Plan by rachelwojo.com. Um, this is a reading plan for the whole book of Proverbs. We've done this every year. Um, we did the book of John, and we also have done the book of Acts. But for this upcoming year, we'll be reading through the entire book of Proverbs. And the way that we do this, even though this is meant to be done in 60 days, I spread it out so that we... Um, do this throughout the entire school year. So every single time they finish um, reading the square or the, the verses that go with the square, they color it in, highlight it, and then throughout the year, we continue to fill this out until we've completed the entire book of Proverbs. Um, to go along with that, we are going to be using the Proverbs, the companion lesson book. This is for ages nine and up. And it has different um, questions, activities, there's a word search. Every single chapter has a memory verse as well that the children will memorize. And then we will just be going through this together, application questions, things like that. So we'll be going through this entire book throughout the school year together with this Bible reading plan. For history, for my oldest two sons that are in seventh and fifth grade, we will be going um, using the Mystery of History, Volume 4, which covers the wars of independence to modern times. Um, so this is one of our favorite curriculums. Um, we will be doing Volume 4. Um, and just, it has amazing um, 
pictures and really great lessons. Um, so I'll be doing this with my oldest two boys. To go along with um, the Mystery of History, we also did get the timeline figures from Homeschool in the Woods to go along with that. So that's what we'll be doing for history. For science, for my oldest two sons, so for seventh grade and fifth grade, we will be doing um, Answers in Genesis, God's Design for Chemistry and Ecology. So this series, actually the Chemistry and Ecology series has three books. Um, so it has Properties of Matters, Properties of Atoms and Molecules, and also um, Properties, I believe, of Ecosystems. So we're not gonna be doing the ecosystem this year. We're just gonna focus on these two topics of atoms and molecules and matter. So the really nice thing about this is that I'm doing it, as I mentioned, for my oldest two sons. And if you see, it says this curriculum was designed for grades three to eight. And there are different things within the curriculum that help you know what is for each of the grade levels. So um, again, this has a lot of great experiments and different hands-on components that helps tie the information together. So for my seventh grader, and my fifth grader, for the first half of the year, we will do properties of matter. For the second half of the year, we will be doing um, the atoms and molecules. So here's the periodic table of elements, all that. So that will be science for my oldest two boys. For typing for my older two sons, we will be using typing.com. It's a free program where they will be able to go in and complete their typing course. So that will be typing for seventh grade as well as for my fifth grader. Okay, those are our curriculum choices for fifth grade for the upcoming school year. In addition to um, his curriculum, my son will also be reading through the Imagination Station book series. He's read many of these, but he'll be continuing reading those this year. And he's going to join his older brother in reading the Christian Heroes Then and Now book series. I shared this in my seventh grade curriculum choice video. It's a really awesome book series, and he'll be joining his brother in reading that. Um, I'll be sure to link in the description box below all the curriculum that I shared during this video. And if you'd like to see a more in-depth flip through, I know sometimes it's so helpful to get a look inside the curriculum. So if you'd like to see any of it more in depth, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to do a flip through of the curriculum. I pray you have a blessed day. God bless you and your family and I'll talk to you soon.